Greetings to the chat. Greetings across the earth. Greetings. I've come across this platform. Zuba ends. And this young brother here. I like the way of him taking time off. Attack some of the issues where really is affecting the people of this island. So here I see this good brother. I show where the hypocrisy of the colonial state government of Jamaica, where the Prime Minister, not the Governor General, but the Prime Minister, he says state policy, closing down the country, shutting down the party for the people who party. Kind of party like that. But for the people who party and the people who depend on those kind of activity as business. And here, this good brother, I'll show you where foreigners from all different parts of the earth can just roll within our shorts. And the Jamaica Defense Force, our, our Coast Guard, don't stop them and let them know we are under restriction when I want a stranger and a newcomer to enter our place. But they must show where a big ship come in and a host of people, because you can see the evidence is clear, come in our shores. They must carry anything, any kind of disease them choose to carry, they must bring here. And them just let them loose in our land and them a party. Now, I know so these people not bring them slaves and servants with them. So they going to have the local people who are working at these resorts, in at these <coughs> hotel accommodation areas. And the local people are do that. So when these foreign people come with their dis-ease, and give it to the local people, then the same foreign system will allow them to enter our place. I will blame the local populace and put even more restrictions on the local populace. When we have always been here on the island and we, the, the disease that's out there wasn't created here on the island. So someone keep I bring this disease here in all kind of subtle and slick ways. And the evidence is clear. Let's run the tape. Salute, fair use, gratitude. Juba ends. That's the platform. Gratitude. DJ Tara, my brother, bless up to you. You pulled this out, man. We in Jamaica. But this is a carnival party. You hear what the virgin said? I congratulate who my fight is. And I tell you clear, we are in Jamaica. And you can clearly see in the backdrop that there is no sunlight there. There is no sunlight. It has to be after curfew hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. You know this is Juba Ends. Big up on the day myself. You understand? But no one says some things right now. Because I feel like me in a one in a one Jamaica and me are suffocated. Me feel claustrophobic. Like me lock up in a one place where no window, no door, nothing. Like I just walk over me. Salute my good brother. Yeah man, you gotta feel like that. Because the Jamaica where you exist in a it's that foreign construct. And the moment you identify yourself as that ward of that Jamaican state, then yes, my brother, you're going to feel that way. And I am happy that you're a complete stranger. I'm going to just come across your information and decide. So let me give my little opinion. Because every man is entitled to his own opinion, just like how every man is entitled to his fundamental rights. So I said gratitude, my good brother. Because I understand how 
our country if we lock down, we lock down in the country. We can't party, we can't do nothing, we can't stay out after seven. Zane, and you have people are coming to our country, come party till they say when. Me, me can't sit through that. Me I try get the understanding, but I cannot get it. So, I don't know if you tell me what really is going on. Believe me, you know. You don't tell me what is going on. Because Jamaicans are locked away one side. And people from all over, different sides of the countries, they are different sides of the world, can come to our country and party as they like, do as they like, keep any type of party. And we cannot party and we can stay out. It is totally unfair. People may have a video for showing you know, at a carnival where I'm going in our country where we can participate in you know, and we can't keep nothing like that neither. See? But before that, I just want you guys to press the like button on the video. Do give me a like there. And let me show you that video first. Let me show you the carnival because you make a normal night there. You know, when you come to dance hall, watch this. <laughs> Jamaica party that way, they were worried them from the island here. Yeah. I flash them kind of money. Yeah. I war. So, this is why the government want to shut down the ghetto people and the poor people and the simple people and promotion. And them things they are going. They owe them have them little money and thing and can really, you know. Keep them little round robin and them little today you keep a party and me and my friend them support. And tomorrow or next week, you know, vice versa. And we just circulate the money in our community and we just build each other. And sometimes we have the outside people come in and strengthen things. So this is where the government are destroyed. However, see a whole host of stranger I keep party in our land. Yeah. I mean, a lot of our so-called society, Jamaican, is right here. A lot of some of our cultural leaders, so-called, is right here at this party with all of these foreigners. This is the hypocrisy of the colonial state of Jamaica. It is an hypocrisy from the office of the so-called prime minister. Deplorable actions on your part. No, guys, that is what they call real type of money pull up in a dance hall. I mean, no, no people are supposed to say right now, say, how Jamaicans are boss them broken so much money there. But yeah, that is, a, that is a lot of money, of course. You can see that coming. No, say, that turntable is supposed to have about $500,000. But it no matter how much money you see people are flash, you have some other people who are hungry, see me, and a ball right now. You understand? But anyway, to the carnival. This is a scene from the carnival, people. And it is not a normal scene. I don't understand. I do not see why, what is the difference between them and we. You get me, I say? So, Uncle, we can get sick. Them can get sick then. People, take in the party. DJ Tehran, my brother, bless up to you. You pulled this out, man. We in Jamaica. But, this is a car. Yo, I'm sir. Listen again. This out, man. We in Jamaica. But this is a carnival party. Bless the child. Take me to car. Take in the party. DJ Tehran, my brother, bless up to you. You pulled this out, man. We in Jamaica. But this is a carnival party. Bless the child. Take me to carnival. Whoa! Look at me. Do you 
seeing the Jamaicans in the video? Well, me not see none. Anyway, like the video. Let's move on. It is a carnival, and when you know about carnival, you gotta see people, especially our island people, our Awakan people, whether it is in Haiti whether it is in Trinidad and Tobago, whether it is in the Bahamas, you're going to notice one specific thing with our people. We always are flush with feathers. Yeah, man. Whether an eagle feather, whether a dove feather, any kind of feather, we always are flush with feathers. And it's even obvious here in Adam costume. However, this is the hypocrisy at the Jamaican colonial state, where the head of state is somewhere in some other foreign land, employing the local people to act as just that, the puppets. How can you have a country and you are say you lock down the country to secure the people because you are in place as government? only as government to secure the interests, the fundamental rights of the people who delegate a little of their authority for collective security from outside or even domestic, local issues. And if there is a pandemic, as you would say, how can you be opening up the country because of monetary gain? This is how you guys sell out and do it right in front of our faces. And because you never teach us to write properly and the education we give to us is incomplete. It's just a very few of us can point out these things. And when I see this good brother from Jabba ends, I bring this issue to the forefront. I have to come in and salute this platform. Because most of the other government paid agents from other platform they won't touch this issue all them are focused on is crime and violence which yes it is there <clears throat> but they never ever focus on the cause when this ship come into our island and these people come off of these ships and enter our land what kind of custom them got through what kind of searches them got through how much rifle and how much Illicit drug, opium, heroin, and cocaine came in with this ship and these people. Yet, if this good brother never presented here, I wouldn't even have no knowledge of this. And I'm quite sure most other people here on the island now have no knowledge of this. And how much more, how many other parties like this is being allowed on our island when we are supposed to be in a lockdown with a dangerous virus of some kind out there. This is the hypocrisy of the state. This is where the state have absolutely no credibility. This is when it's okay to renounce and renege all contracts made during infancy. This is when you throw off this yoke, this burden from you. And replace it with your own self-governance. Uh, you do have a right to self-identify, which is a self-identification. And you do have a right to self-determine, which is your self-determination. Every man have a right to decide his own destiny. However, with a tyrannical government, we are ruled with absolute tyranny then you now go can express yourself freely. This is when them are abrogate, 
them are infringe and them are deceive you. You get me? By converting your inherent rights into some kind of government privileges. Now, this is a wrong. Yeah, man. This is a wrong. And it is injurious to the people. Because when I hear about these people getting vaccinated and all of these things, and don't tell me so them do it in a them foreign land. This is not the foreign land. So when them come here, them forget tests and them forgot through all the scrutinies. What we impose on the general populace. So this is the hypocrisy of the state. I'm looking for everybody in a costume. I'm looking for everybody in a costume right now. Wait, wait, I'm looking for everybody. Here we go. Don't run from everybody, I do. My question is this, we must have a way to ascertain who authorized this and what is the financial gain from the exposure to our people of this dangerous pandemic by these foreigners on our shores. Who authorized this? Who is going to hell responsible for this? Must be the Prime Minister's office. Must be the Governor General's office. Why are these people not wearing masks? Why are these people here on our island after curfew hours and it is okay? Were the Jamaican people as a whole born to be slaves? This is why I claim a walk. And I am an American Awak Indian on this island, American island of Zamaica, this Jamaica. I'm no Jamaican citizen in the context where I'm a ward of a state, where I'm compelled to lock inside my house. While I'm quite sure the higher excellence of our society is at this party, including probably all of the members of parliament. And Andrew Holiness is a man we seem to love party. I'm quite sure he's here. I'm quite sure he's here. But the question is this. Who allowed this atrocity? And then you're going to say, hey, 500 new cases is on the island. 1,000 new cases is on the island. Where are these cases coming from? Tell the people the government of Jamaica is foreign to us. Foreign to us. And they are only here in a capacity as our public servants. But they want to elevate themselves to masters. And I've never seen it in nature. Where the servant is above its master. This is the hypocrisy of the state. And our prominent cultural leaders and talk show hosts, you know what I mean, the alphabetical names out there, you know, address them thing, you know, you know call out the state for hypocrisy, these things are what you call the cause, you know, always focus on the effect, these things are what is known as the cause, so I'm quite sure it's more than two, three, four hundred people that are out there. Even more, because shit carry thousands of people. Thousands. 
and with them have our local people are serve these people anyway they are so the local people are go home to feed them local family and spread whatever it is these foreigners bring here on our land with the permission of our government what is going on what is going on who shall be held liable for this act who shall be held accountable for this act must be the office of the prime minister must be the office of the governor general that's where we lay that claim So this is the type of things you face in Jamaica. If you're there anywhere there over the world and watch this right now. Remember, if you was at that party, we and we depend on lockdown, we can't party like how no can come here come party. See? We can't party like how no can no can party in a full no place. As a matter of fact, look here now. The tourists them, tourists no come from Jamaica, you know. And we have to have papers, legitimate, legitimate papers, how you want to call it. I agree, my young warrior. I agree, my king. This is why I don't use no Jamaican government passport. And if I feel you use any government passport, it has to be the American national passport. However, because there is always two sides to the coin. I have a private world passport where I don't require permission from no corporate construct that is foreign to me, especially here in my land, to traverse all over this earth. This is why when we say a world passport, it is just that. We cover the world, whatever consists of the world. And there's a world government, and there's a world citizen. So these things are options where people can choose to become a world citizen. They can choose to be a part of the world government. You can choose to acquire a world passport where some of these talk show hosts will be silent when they speak because they come from a place where they are trained, they are conditioned. The moment you did in another system they call the government system on any level, I always, all when you come and everything balanced, I always I say, boy, oh, yeah, you still have come from that place. So it doesn't matter where you are talking. You're still a government man or an ex-government man. You're still an agent or an ex-agent. The fact is, you're an agent. Whether ex or still not ex, you're an agent. A man like me, I've never been attached to the government, which is foreign, in no capacity. None at all. So this is why we said this is the hypocrisy of the state. People now talk about them being locked down, meaning it's no different from when you go in a prison and them let you out to get some food and get your show and make sure you ride. And then them are telling you, lockdown. You understand? And when you look, you see other people out there and you say, wait, then when me I get locked down, it's no different. So now them are put it on a mental level where even when you're supposed to be free, where you can't get out your house, you can't sit in your yard till it's late, them are telling you, boy, lockdown. And when them are locked down the whole country, them have them own private party with them own foreign people that come here come party and a pollute with hemisphere, a pollute with environment, and then them turn round the same system, government system, turn around and blame the local folk. Blame the local people. This is the hypocrisy. Where is our Minister of National Security? How you now secure us nationally? Dr. Arias Chang, that's because I allow no foreign to us. Because if any yard group say, boy, watch out. Eight away now, we are all our energy and we are go to us and we are just light a fire and keep our own party. We're private, we're not disturb nobody. You know, send police and soldiers for arrest way. And when you arrest you, you know, carry away in a coat and trick way. And try to fleece way. Take away all of the money from way. So yet, you know, still not tell you the truth. Still not bring the truth forward. So this is the hypocrisy of the state. 
And it's not me just a say it, you know. I'm just a point out it right in front of your face. So the young warrior, I bring it forward. If you go to the place, go party. See, we can't just go so. And then can come and ship and come here in our place where them say the country locked down, you know. The country locked down. So if the country locked down, no party can't keep. How other people are coming to the country come keep party? Seeing Mr. PM, that is my question. How and why them have the privilege to do that when we can't? Young warrior, that's because the PM and everything that is associated and attached to that PM has sold us out. Has sold out the Jamaican people as a whole. Has sold out the island as a whole. Yeah, man, the turnover, what am I try to turn it over to is turn over the governance to China. Because the British shall lose its power. And this is the, the subtle trick. So it's obvious it's a hypocrisy. How can a big old ship come here with all of these thousands of people? And nobody check if them have even visa for coming to my land. But you want to ask my people for visa for going to Funo land. This is why we are bringing information for remove those kind of restrictions. And it's a free will choice. So all of them responsibility, all of them liability, I feel go straight to the PM office, straight to the, 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 the Governor General's office. Someone have to explain to us how the National Security Minister didn't secure us from this big ship coming into our land with these foreign people keeping this foreign party. And absolutely, none of the island folk are welcome outside being a servant or a slave to these foreign people. And when you're going to say outbreak on the island, you know, consider say, this is what, how the outbreak enter and leave the island. How many more parties like this have kept here where we never have this good brother here for, for snatch this information? How many other parties are like this? How many other foreigners are not let in and out of our country without we knowing it? Bringing all different kind of weaponry and all different kind of Things that create all kind of problems for the local folk. Them I go through unchecked. And when all a sovereign man in, a, in my sovereign state capacity, I traverse, I travel in my community. You want to tell me, say, you want to stop me? You want to impede me? You want to hinder me? This is the hypocrisy. Now, it shall come to an end. If you choose to be vaccinated, listen, I can't interrupt or interfere. That's your free will choice. But under no circumstance will we accept anything mandatory like that. It will never happen. Yeah, man, people are going to just choose because of fear. But all a man like me, and probably a few others, it will never happen. Never. Not mandatory. It will never happen. Because that would be against the law of nature. To remove a man's free will from him, that would go against the law of nature. So this is the hypocrisy of the colonial state of Jamaica. Yeah, man. We yeah, enjoy our country and they might enjoy the country. Yo, we lock down the dog. We don't know how we're going to deal with this. Huh? We don't know how we're going to deal with this. And it get worse and worse every day. You're not getting a better version. You're not getting a better. You see? Because we just want to big something keep one time with him called Moon Cafe. You get me, I say? And then you come and you open it, and you're lucky back down now. You're lucky down. And when we look at big ship driving with people, say, I can't even like it. So, how the carnival can keep here? Why is it different people can party here, and your people, them, the people in my your country cannot? Because you're presumed to be a slave, my king. Because the people here are presumed to be a slave. And if you do not rebut that presumption, then it stands as law, as truth. So this is why a man, not God, can tell you, an next grown man, to stay inside of your house and do not open up your business. Is a man I do that, you know. And because of fear, you as man comply to that order from a next man. What kind of audacity is that? Will that next man get that authority to tell you that? 
you are the one who gave him that authority, so you have to take back that authority and let him go talk to some other else body. Because now you live, you're not a corpus, you're not a body anymore. So this is why it is, my lord. You have to get some of them correct information, yeah? Yeah, man. Salute. Party. Me just want to understand that. That's all me want to know. Me just want to know that. Me just want to understand. And your people, them, the people in my your country cannot party. The carnival can keep here. Why is it different people can party here and your people and the people in my area country cannot party? Me just want to understand that. That's all me want to know. Me just want to know that. You see me, I say? Because it just not look good. It look how we are, man. Monday, to, Monday, Tuesday, whole week. Weekend come, we can't go nowhere. See? No music can't play, nothing, you know? Police come. Lock off your music and I'll take away your music and take you away to give you someone's a coat. And people from a different place I come keep big dance in a place where we don't know about it. I don't see government know about it. You know? The government where a lot of the country, I don't know about it. Zin? So, what you call that now? People talk to me in the comment section. Come in and know what you call that something. You know? I don't, me, 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 me can't find one name for it. Because it don't look decent. No? It like the government betray we. They betray we as for them, as Jamaicans. You get me as I put them on him up or put them in a house. It's called trees, my brother. When the government betray you as the people, it's called trees in us at. But we don't have no one to challenge them on that level. Because they're all in cahoots together. So we are going to require some outside intervention and independent, you know, call it, audit. We need a forensic audit. Who get paid for that big ship you are coming our place? Which part of the money they got? Who for pocket it got into? Who allow? Go bother the patrol for uh, let this big ship enter our space. Did anybody, as called into Muta Baruka, Check these people psychologically before them allow them to come on our land. Because it's a new thing Muta installing them. Muta uh, insists that any man will break any kind of, well, the presumption of breaking any rules to get psychological evaluation. Some of them know who psychologically evaluate these people on the ship and look how them are jump up and go on. You get me? This is the hypocrisy of the state. So salute, young warrior. You I do a work where most other free for take on. And them have other people out there where I do some excellent work. I bring information about crime to the people. So we're not necessarily not in, but we know somehow we're not a paid agent. We know say we're not an ex-agent, but to a man like me, me know say watch out. If me join the police force or the army or anything to do with government and me I work with government and the government say, boy, all right, I'm tired of you now and them say, boy, go and go find something else to do so I'm stop work with the government. Does that make me not a government agent? Does that make me stop being a government agent? Does all the information and the training and everything where the, gov the agency give to me, does that just automatically disappear because I'm no longer working for that agency? I don't think so. So all the way, a lot of want to talk out there. Me know an agent same way. I care what kind of clothes are hot on a try put on. However, other people business. But may I say, say a man like I. No, I and the I, the man are the same. I step my step down from a level. I can at least communicate and bring this information forward. And listen again. Step down. So on a sister boy, a phone level may I try function from. May I try put myself in enough on the shows and say, boy, let me see how it really is. You know what I mean? But the truth, I elude a lot of them. And a lot of them get paid well enough to ever expose the truth. But step by step.
like the water, the truth will always be there and it will be flowing. I care what kind of dam you might put there, it will be flowing. So right. this is how the truth go. It unfold itself step by step. Step by step. Was a ball, man. You see me? And we just have to stay so and turn to work. And hold for your vibes. If you ever touch the road, I make 7 o'clock catch you. And after 7, then put that bangle on your hand. You know? Zane, you think the party here cannot keep the carnival here? And you as a Jamaican, can you get and go in? If you think about it, you never even reach a gate. Zane, they may come for you. Because they must say, you know, supposed to say because it is a Jamaican party. Wait, wait, wait. Well, if I'm a Jamaican party, then keep it somewhere in the water, then. Simple as that. Why then come on our side with it? When we can do that on our side. I know, I mean, I tell you. This come like some, some man will live with their wife, you know. And the man buy her some crackery plate and him something there and crackery cup and you like can chop it and chop up. And he never drink out that one yet. See? And as stranger come out here, you fly, you fly cabinet away where you want to fly and take out the cup. Mm -hmm. You know how work. Because I'm buy. I feel we I feel make up and I feel we place. I will feel enjoy. Feel we place. You see me I say? And I'm if you enjoy make up. You understand? I decided the man, this is a total injustice to the people of Jamaica. I'm not lie. People, if you reach this far in our video, please don't make it. Like it. Before you say me chat too much. Me gone. <laughs>